Good day, Red Mountain. Welcome back to RM Radio. We are your hosts today. I'm Amar. I'm Nathan. And welcome back. Today we have Model UN with us. Please introduce your guys to self. I'm Joel Silva, Secretary of Model UN. I'm Brandon Phillips. I'm a newbie. So, exactly what is Model UN? Well, Model UN is essentially like mock trials of the actual UN where we uh, try and work together and solve real world problems. So would you consider it like a debate team almost? No, it is strongly advised not to be a debate team. So how does it differ from a debate team if, if you don't um, mind us asking? You're not really like arguing. You are making an argument for like the things you believe in and your committee but you are not arguing with other people. The whole goal is to come to like a compromise as a committee. Okay. And also there's a lot of preparation before. Mike, currently we're about to go on a conference yeah. to Westwood. We wow. had to write a policy statement and we're currently about to work on our speeches. Oh, okay. So, fun. so what are you guys fighting exactly? Or fighting for? Or what like, what's your, your prompt? Committee? There are, multi- we're all assigned a country and a committee. Our countries this year are Brazil and Russia. And oh, yes. I'm currently on Russia's committee on the status of women. Oh, okay. I am on Russia's committee for the international nuclear atomic energy. We have two prompts each. Uh, for yeah. Westwood, it is statelessness and its impact or effects on women and girls. So for the Westwood Conference, you only do one of your policies. For the Mesa Community College Conference, we use both. In February, we use both. So everybody's kind of like has a set job, essentially. Yes. So like for Westwood, I'm arguing for nuclear waste to help with the like diminishing of marine microplastics. Mm. Oh wow! Yeah, mm. that sounds like, that sounds like a handful. It, Those it's... are some interesting debate topics. Those are going to be fun. Well, not debate, but yeah, discussions. Yes, more like mm. it. And um, when we're in it, it's like. A little challenging because we have to put ourselves into like out of the mind of a teenage American student, yeah. and we for have me, to be Russia. <laughs> yeah, we have to put our mind into a person who is a part of Russia. So, what research do you guys do for this? Because this seems like very extensive. If you have like what a month and a half, you guys yeah. said. Yeah, well, to study? they they really advise you do not just like go to Google. Um, yeah. we have issue briefs given to us from our committees, like from the actual UN committee, and we get access to the model un website that has some more information i know from my committee i found the international atomic energy committee like website so i've been using a lot of information off of that yeah and other resource that we were advised to go to is our actual mike like i went to russia's website oh yeah like their governmental website so look up how they would it is all in russian though so you have to translate which is so fun so is it basically like politics in high school or is it like more than that Some of it is more than politics. Like in C-34 is for peacekeeping. C-34 is all about like just world peace. Interesting. And like the world health stuff. No, that's a different thing. No, that's a W-H-O, I think. Yeah, there's the like the World Health Organization. And then C-24 is like decolonization. What's a decolonization? So like Puerto Rico, okay, Okay. is one of our colonies. Yeah, yeah, it's one of our territories. 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 You know, Puerto Rico, if it wanted to, could become its own state and its own country. But we own it. That would be decolonization. This year they're doing pit carry. That's what it's called. Yeah. And it's an island of cannibals. Oh. Um. (laughs) Oh, that one. So we're decolonizing. That is so interesting. So interesting. I'm sure that's going to be a very interesting process to go through. I really wanted to be on C24, but because I was a newbie, she was like... Yeah, we have to assign <laughs> stuff based on seniority. Oh. Oh. Uh, <coughs> so it's kind of like a class thing. Yeah. Okay. But also, she knew that I had a really big interest in like marine biology, so she gave me um, Marine 1. Omar, I'm going to ask you a question. If you were to pick like a subdivision in Model UN, what would you pick? Ugh, that would be hard. She doesn't even know them all. <laughs> I don't know them yeah. all. You just, li- you like, just listed a few. List- you listed a few. I would probably want to work with maybe, honestly, I'm not sure if this is even one, but like maybe like a public communication of some sort. So oh, yeah. like mm-hmm. how, like communicating with like other people around the world or like trades and That'd things like that. Because I do like, um, I do like to understand a lot of like being like the middleman, understanding, trying yeah. to communicate side by side, seeing both sides and kind of understanding all of that i really like all of that but you know i'm not in it so yeah i think i would have had fun but i my nerves would get the best of me (laughs) 
You know, with the nerves, like one thing that we do do whenever we do go to competition is something called power dressing. And I think oh. that helps so much with Guinness. It, it makes you feel like intimidating. What is power she, dressing? Exactly. She keeps telling us, our club sponsor, she keeps telling us about one year there was this girl. She oh, showed up in a year. hot pink suit. I love it. It's that. like you don't, like you want to stand out a little. Oh, wait, sorry. Power dressing is when you like dress up professionally in a way. You can either wear like a pantsuit, but most dudes, uh, well, she recommends that most dudes wear a suit. Yeah. Okay. So like, I'm not going to the conference this weekend, but the conference in February, I'm going to wear like an all black pantsuit, but a neon green tie. So Ooh, I stand out. That's going to look amazing. I idea. think she said that the girl in the hot pink suit, she got what recommended oh, or yeah, nominated. No, she got like a ton of awards and stuff she did wow. like phenomenal because everybody remembered who she was i love that definitely Terry. like dressing dr- dressing to be bold is something that really does help a confidence well and it also sh- our club sponsor has suggested like you have to seem like a very nice person because mm-hmm. you want people to like look at you and be like i like that person i'm going to team up with you because it makes mm-hmm. your report better another thing that works into it is what country you get i remember last year oh, yeah. sophia uh our uh, vice president she She was india India, and the person who represented china for her committee said no one team up with india or else you don't get to team up with me yeah so i think because we are russia we're gonna have a a big advantage or a really bad disadvantage yeah Yeah, because there's there's a lot of things in russia going on right now. there's a lot of things everywhere yes so especially um my other committee partner who's in brazil because our other topic is indigenous women and girls he's in brazil no, no he's no. not in brazil but oh he's okay in, he's representing yeah she's representing brazil yeah she uh because i feel like she'll be able to get a better <laughs> um a better stance from Brazil than I will be able to get from Russia because there's not that many indigenous people. Yeah. Prob- well, there is, but not as many. They but- added a new committee this year that was like, it's not a real like committee, I don't think. It's like based off of World War II. Oh. But it's basically they're fighting for like what should have happened in World War II. Mm. I don't know. It's- so like what they could have done better, other ways to Kinda, compromise, yeah. things like that? It's like a new thing that they're doing this year that they're very excited about. Well, I'm I mean, you can't things. change the past. So. It's just like always... a hypothetical. It's a hypothetical. So you, we are... I mean, this whole entire thing is kind of hypothetical because yeah. we're not in the real U.S. Yeah. And we are doing issue briefs from, like, years ago. So, like, my issue brief is a real one from, like, 2014. One thing for sure I know you guys will remember is who are your sponsors, actually? Curl Packin and Miss Vanderay. Mm-hmm. Miss Vanderay. Miss Vanderay is new this year. Yeah. Oh. Miss Curl yeah. Packin, she's been doing it 10 years, I think. Well, all righties. Thank you guys so much for coming here and chatting with us today. We greatly appreciate it. And thank you for telling us about Model UN. I didn't know that much until today, actually. That's all for the Red Mountain Podcast. I'm Nathan. And I'm Amar. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day, Red Mountain. God bless. Bye.